I've done a few videos highlighting the calibrations that you need to do to this saw right when you get it out of the box. I wanted to do a quick overview. Some of you, that's all you're going to need. For the others, the videos that go in depth are available to you. We'll start with this table insert. This has one, two, three, four Allen studs. These are two millimeter Allen key studs that are used to lift or lower the four corners of the table insert to make sure it's flush with the tabletop. On your table saw fence, this uh, fence has a little indicator line. This is a red line that is supposed to match up with how far away your fence is from your blade. Now when you measure up here, that measurement should match where that red line, that red indicator is. If it doesn't, this Phillips screw here allows you to change that indicator line. Down here, this is where you make your bevel adjustment. On each side of the range of motion of this bevel adjustment, there is a positive stop cam. These cams are adjustable so that you can change how far to the left it'll go before it stops and how far to the right it will go before it stops. To do that, you need a four millimeter Allen key. Also, you can change the position of the red indicator with a Phillips head screw driver. On the back side of your fence, you've got a 10 millimeter or 3 8 inch nut. This controls how tight the clamping force is on your fence. And uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Otherwise, you can check out those in-depth videos that will explain better how to do those calibrations. And I'll see you next time.